what I'm trying to do here today, I've been working on these roses. They're copper, copper petaled roses. Um, I forged these leaves and, uh, and then I tack welded them onto this stem that I made. The petals are copper. I had a friend know the plasma table cut out uh, petals for me. One of the tricky parts of this, it, it may look welded to you, but I actually don't, it's not actually welded. It's tack welded on the outside. What I'm actually trying to do is gonna, I'm gonna heat the piece up in the forge. And uh, historically, welding used to happen by you just get two pieces of metal welding heat and you tap them together with a hammer. That's called forge welding. That's how they did welding for thousands of years before they came out with gases and electricity and stuff like that. So, but I'm, I have this tacked on there, ready to go. What I'm actually trying to do is heat it up and weld together the inside of the pieces and whatever tack weld I have on the outside, I'll get ground off. You know, forge welding is a, a basic blacksmithing skill, but it's not one that I really have developed much. So I'm learning as I go. I hope this works. We'll just have to, to go from there. I'm trying to take all the precautions I can to make sure it's successful, because I need to be able to sell these. Um, so I'll, I'll get this up in the forge. I got uh, five of these that I'm working on, and um, we'll see how that goes. I got this welding flux you're gonna see me put on there. It comes in a nice squeeze bottle. It's called Iron Mountain Flux. It's not cheap. Flux uh, helps clean out the scale so that the steel is clean when, it, when it's welded together. I did clean this, all the pieces before I welded them and clean them after I welded them in the hopes of getting that to work. But this is just to help even beyond that. Some people do it without this flux, but um, so this is what you'll be seeing me use.